na uhuru Kenyatta wewe umenitatiza sana bwana umeniangaisha umetuangaisha sisi ambao tulikuunga mkono wabunge wengi umetutesa umetumia vitengo ya IC, uh, vitengo ya DCI na wengine kutunyanyasa lakini my friend sisi hatuna vita na wewe waja kukathirika na sisi wewe tulikusaidia wakati ulitaka wanaume wa kusimama na wewe tulisimama na wewe ni kweli ama si kweli sisi ndio tulikusaidia mpaka kwa kuwa rais wa Kenya hata kama utaki kurecognize hata utaka kama utaki kukubali wewe hangekuwa rais kama bila sisi na hiyo ni ukweli ni kweli ama si kweli so tafadhali my friend sasa hakuna haja ya wewe kuanza kufanya mikutano ati unataka kukwamisha mambo ya uchaguzi. Unataka kutuletea furugu kwa uchaguzi. Wewe umeanza mikutano ya usiku, unataka kufuruga matokeo ya uchaguzi. Bwana Rais, tafadhali. Hata kama project yako amekwama, hauwezi kutulazimisha kwa project yako na hauwezi kuharibu inji kwa sababu project yako imekwama tunakuomba kwa heshima tafadhali usivuruge Kenya saa hizi wewe unatumia kifua unatumia vitisho kutisha machief na ma county commissioners unataka kuwafanya kibaraka ati wawe vibaraka wa mtu ya kitendawili kwa sababu wa Kenya wamekataa project yako unataka kulazimisha wafanyikazi wa serikali ati wamfanyie campaign na wale umewatuma wanawatisha machief ati wasipofanya campaign ya kitendawili watafutwa kazi mimi nataka niwaambie members wa provincial administration niwaambie machief wasome barua ile iliwaandika kazi Hakuna mahali inasema mtafanya kazi ya siasa ama kufanya kazi ya kusaidia watu wa azimio. Watu wa azimio watafute watu wao wa kufanya campaign. Wawachane na machifu wetu. Wawachane na wafanyikazi wa serikali. Wafanyikazi wetu wa serikali wakiwemo machifu hawa ni watu wanaofanyia kazi wa Kenya wote bila ya kujali ni wa chama gani ni wa kabila gani ni wa dini gani and i want to assure the provincial administration and all public servants that those of you who will be victimized because of refusing to be used on political projects to be used to support a failing kitendawili project anyone who will be victimized i promise you We will promote you on the 10th of August when we take over. Tunaelewana jameni? Tuko pamoja? Tuko pamoja? Tuko pamoja? Mimi nawauliza ndugu zangu watu wa Kenya. I want to ask the people of Kenya and especially my good brother the president of Kenya. Mr President please you have tormented us you have created hell for the last five years for us we am requesting you Mr President even if you don't want to support our cause we appreciate that you have a project called Kitendawili but please do not cause this country to go into conflict the night meetings you are having the meetings you are having to incite people against us and against other kenyans is a great disservice the threats you have said you have told us we will know who you are my good brother we went to the polls to elect you as president you don't have to threaten us please mr president We are asking you with a lot of respect threats against members of the provincial administration the threats you are giving us against other Kenyans 
is actually the language of dictators and despots. That is the language beneath a democratically elected president. We want to ask you respectfully, let us not go the route of dictatorship. Let us not go the route of despots. We elected you as a democratic president, and the next president will be elected in a democratic election. We want to ask you respectfully, please, my good friend, Mr. President, let us not drive a narrative. Let us not go the direction of intimidating and blackmailing the provincial administration, the chiefs, to manipulate the election and cause conflict. That will be below what every Kenyan expects of a democratically elected president in Kenya. We expect you to be above board. We expect you to lead the way in making sure that his election is free of violence and free of conflict and free of unnecessary contestations. Please, Mr. President, the route you are taking to threaten us, to threaten other Kenyans, to cause conflict, to force the provincial administration to take sides against their oath of office is, just, is not only undemocratic, it is, uh, it is not fair, and I want to tell you it is against the law. Let the provincial administration, like all other Kenyans, make independent choices. Sini mzuri tumambia raisi wetu? Sisi zinja tulimuchagua? Kwaani hiko shidagani? Sisi